Hi there, Jennifer Elizabeth Masters here, and I am here today to talk to you about creating. And what does that mean? It means getting in the vortex and attracting what it is you want, whether it is love, money, a job, a great life. And I've been talking to quite a few people this weekend, and I just wanted to do this video to kind of give you a few instructions about how actually to create because what's happening is a lot of people are creating chaos, havoc, and, uh, and things like that. And then they're wondering why their life is going wrong. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is, um, hi, Megan. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about is Get clarity about what you want. What do you want? Do you want a great relationship? You want somebody who's committed to you? Do you want somebody who loves you? You want somebody who accepts you? Somebody that you can go hiking with, ride horses with? What is it you want? Get crystal clear on what it is you want. If you want a job, what kind of job do you want? Do you want to work from home? Do you want to be, um, do you want to be uh, working with a bunch of creative people? Just get crystal clear on whatever it is you want, whether it's the job, um, the relationship, or a certain amount of money. So thank you for joining me. I appreciate you watching. Um, so first of all, what I want to say to you all is, I have a website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com, and last night I found a boatload of old podcasts that I have just been uploading into my little cloud, and I am going to be gifting these to you when you sign up for my newsletter. So, you know, if you sign up for my newsletter, you get the latest, the hottest, the inside scoop on what's going on, what I'm doing, and and I give really great details on how to create, because this is what I do for my clients. So I'll tell you a couple of stories. One, had a client who came to me because her husband cheated, and uh, she kicked him out, and they decided to sell their house. They'd only been in the house for four months. Now the real estate agent said, you'll never be able to sell that house. You'll never get your money out of it. Nobody's gonna wanna buy it. You're gonna be upside down. He kept telling them all of these negative things that were gonna happen. And I went, whoa, 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 wait a minute. That's not part of my reality. Is that what you want? Do you want to believe what this person is telling you or do you wanna sell your house? And she said, oh, I wanna sell the house. I'm, now I'm living a good hour away from where I work. My husband's no longer here, so now I have to have someone else drive my daughter to school. If I was closer to the school, a lot of things would happen. I'd spend two hours less a day driving. Guess what? I helped her sell the house in less than two weeks, and she, <laughs> she needed a place to go. And you know, the market right now is really hot. There's not a lot of available real estate on the market. She wanted this townhouse and she called me to cancel our appointment at the last minute. She said, I, I can't have our appointment because I, the townhouse has fallen through and oh my God, no, what am I gonna do? And I said, keep the appointment. I said, I'm gonna help you create, help you get what it is you want. Do you know by the time she hung up the phone with me, our hour session ended and she got a phone call about another property that she had been to. Do you think maybe that second property was better suited to her than the first one? Absolutely. I'll tell you another story. So I have been looking for a VA assistant that knows acuity. And I have been talking to all kinds of people and I found a brilliant woman and she was supposed to have sent me a contract Friday after we spoke. She didn't send me the contract. She didn't send it over the weekend. She told me she was ill. There's no problem with that. But rather than me get upset with her, I started to think, well, maybe the universe has someone better in mind. Now this woman is brilliant, but she has her own business and she's charging a good deal amount of money. While I was out shopping at the dollar store, 
Yes, I buy my groceries at the dollar store because I am a frugal person. The universe does not like waste. I don't waste my money. I don't waste my time. So while I was shopping, I got a text from a young lady who charges a less than a third of what the first person charges and is proficient in acuity, which is exactly what I needed. Now, do you think maybe when that townhouse fell through, the universe was orchestrating for her and I kept her on track. She started, my client started to get upset. Oh my God, now what am I gonna do? See, this is what happens. Rather than thinking something better is coming for us, people have a tendency to get all upset and think things that derail them. So maybe the guy that you think is good for you isn't. Maybe he's not answering your text because he's not the best guy for you. Maybe there's somebody out there that's even better. So there's a couple of things that I, I wanna to talk to you about. So you have to get crystal clear on what you want because if you are not crystal clear, if you keep going back and forth and back and forth, the universe doesn't know what to bring you. If you say one day, I want a relationship, and then the next day, I'm pissed off with men, or I hate women, I don't want a relationship, and then, and then the next day you want a relationship, the universe doesn't know what to do for you, so the universe will go, we'll just wait until they make up their mind. And I will tell you something else, God hears everything. God hears your prayers. God hears when you swear. God hears when you have sex. God hears when you doubt yourself. God hears when you're not in faith. Why? Because God's inside of you. God is right there with you. God is with you all the time. Never leaves you. Right with you all the time. So <laughs> there is nothing God does not hear. God knows your heart and knows what's in your mind. So we have got to remain straight and strong and courageous and in faith to have what it is we want. When we get it, don't bitch, don't moan, don't complain, because that is what we do. We get the guy, he's brilliant, he's awesome. Now is he perfect? Well, he's human. We get the girl, same thing. Well, <laughs> What do we do? We complain that they aren't attentive enough. They don't text us often enough. Uh, they don't come home early enough. For goodness sakes, praise the person that you have. Give them the love they need. Appreciate them. Have great gratitude for them. Because if you don't, if you do not praise, if you do not appreciate, if you do not have gratitude for what you have and what you've been given, it will go away. And the minute that we start to complain, bitch and moan, how do you feel? Do you feel good? Do you feel empowered? Of course not. So don't bitch, don't complain, don't moan. <laughs> know that the universe is always orchestrating your life for you. We have got to be in faith. We have to know what we want, be in faith, be present, and have gratitude for what we have. Okay, let me just see if there's anything else. So, and this is the same thing, whether we're looking for money, whether we're wanting clients, or whether it is love that we're, we're wanting. We manifest in the same way. And so, <laughs> <laughs> we've got to stay the course. We have to know what it is we want. We need to be certain what it is we want. And, and if we're hating on our ex, do you think the universe is gonna be able to bring you someone to love? It's really hard to attract love to you if you are still resentful, if you still are in unforgiveness of the last person you were with. You have to release the heart ties, you have to let them go, and you have to forgive. And this forgiveness, and I've worked with clients, <laughs> I've worked with clients, not for a very long time, mind you, that refused to forgive their ex and wanted to stay with that anger. And I watched one person gain 80 pounds while she was sitting in unforgiveness. So unforgiveness, not only does it 
Uh, it make you gain weight. It makes you fester and get ill, and it's not good. It's not good. Forgiveness is the way to go. Gratitude's the way to go. So, no matter what it is we want, we have to be crystal clear. And so, if we're going to do a manifestation, and my battery's about to go, so I'm going to have to wrap this up really quick. So, get crystal clear on what you want. Be completely present grounded, breathe, get excited, know how it's going to feel to have that thing that you want. What's it going to be like to have that relationship? What's it going to be like to have that fantastic job? And start giving thanks right now for it being on its way to you. And, you know, I've worked with a lot of people that say, you know, like this client of mine, oh, you know, it'll take months to sell, two weeks two weeks and when the when the townhouse fell through she had another house that very night right after she worked with me so what I do for my clients is I help them stay on track I help them stay positive I teach them how to create with their words and their thoughts and their emotions keep them in alignment because if we're not in alignment then you know if our we say we want one thing <laughs> and yet unconsciously we really don't and I'll give you a quick example before we go I thought I wanted a relationship and yet my unconscious mantra was I don't need a man and uh, thanks Anastasia <laughs> thank you uh, and so when you're saying I want this I want a relationship and then the unconscious mind the unconscious mantra is I don't want a relationship then we cannot get one it's not possible because we're out of alignment so I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters sign up for my newsletter and I will gift you a free podcast with an energy clearing that will help you on your way just when you when you sign up for the newsletter at jenniferelizabethmasters.com you can also send me an email but it's not necessary I will send you that free podcast I love you. Thanks for watching. Remember, crystal clear, clarity, be in alignment, know what it is you want, and be grateful for it when you have it and even before it arrives. I love you. Thanks for watching.